Hello, in this video we're looking at an endgame build using the Thief with instant abilities and we're leaning heavily on Invisible and Agility and Barrage and Chaos Bringer. Uh, we are not using the Monk because there are enemy attack deplete buff trials and that cost us a lot of momentum. So we're using Ninja for the Utsemi and uh, we're, we're going to be kind of moving around the battlefield between Bisect and Cloaked Fang uh, to try to get behind the enemy. We do have Tyrant and, and a few other ways to critical hit, but their goal is to ultimately critical hit the enemy. But there's going to be some bosses where we just have to whoop out our daggers and try to crit the enemy as best as we can. And that's where some of this is coming in. Um, I'm going to do a uh, twin thrust on the second slot, so uh, things might not look super great. But we're going to call it, these are the bosses that need to die quick. So, Elemental Core, um, Emperor on Phase 1 before the Magic Barrier, these types of things. And just sort of a heads up, we also have allies that try to give us some agility going on here. But we're going to do things a little differently. We're going to go into... Um, we're going to go and try this out first. This is also just a build that I've been um, using for a while. So uh, the pieces were here and I just never fully finished uh, doing a build video for it. That's not entirely true. But we're going to try this on two different waves. Uh, first, we're going to... First, we're going to make sure our monsters are what we want them to be. So we do have uh, some agility monsters. We're going to go over this after we either live or die here. Um, all enemies is, is, is pretty fun sometimes. Maybe not. Okay. We're going to start off on the ninja. And I'm going to... I probably should have drank a Mega Aether. Um, we're going to try not to do Invisible and Barrage on the Ninja, just because we're not set up to do that. And we're going to do it on the Thief. Trying to get behind the enemy as best we can. We did get hit in the middle of all that. Um, all those little zeros popping up. But we're going to apply our buffs. Even though... We started on the ninja. Oops. Let's get that Molotov for the next round. And the, uh, the reason why some of this build is working is we have a lot of multipliers working in a favor um, but let's let's still keep trying here who is this good semi wore off so that's dangerous and uh, were there enemy attack deplete buff trials no I just I just messed up somehow. I should have stole one more time. <laughs> so we stole from her and then Delta attacked from behind. Ooh, we keep forgetting to like check our loot. So 
got grenade bomb for the next round. Let's try to get a bisect go. Whoops, did not mean to do that. Um, I was more worried that my Utsemi had fallen off and I was trying to soul shield. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh. Uh-oh. Time. Okay. Uh, let's steal some of this for the next round. And then we're gonna see if we can like teleport to the backside. We might end up accidentally killing him. Yeah. That's more or less um, how some of the boss fights can go. Uh, I did get hit about eight times in all of this. Uh, I know there were some soul shields going on too. Uh, but rough idea. Then we're going to try this on a wave of enemies. And then semi worst case we'll clip out the the build explanation part of the video and do this did, did I feel like I did do thief before though. That's that's the scary part. I don't, I don't know how many times I've tried to record. Oh, let's talk to Gilgaman. Get our stuff going. He's like, I can't believe you did it. I'm like, okay. Let's get lock that in, because I don't think I have one of those. Let's look for enemy waves. Stop it with your negative waves. And then uh we're gonna we're gonna go in. Start off on Ninja, do Chaos Bringer, uh, Lunatic with Semi. And uh you you don't have to do it semi if you're open to just soul shielding. I, I do it semi because sometimes I do slip up. And again, enemy attack complete buff trials. We got ash kills. Oh, Look at Jet. Look at Jet. Who wants a rock? Crap, this is 90 enemies? Shoot. That and that. Okay. Oh shoot, this someone's still around. Status ailment going. Nope. And what do you have for me? A spark blade? Yeah, spark. Reapply buffs. And we're still alive. It would help if we could target. Mind player 
stuff a little bit too much. <laughs> My computer can't handle what's going on. Uh, but I don't want to waste it on the likes of a wolf. But yet we do so for a goblin. Okay. Alpha Wolf doesn't really have anything, which is unfortunate. So the Wo Lobo does have Photon, so we do have that going. And then whoever the next person is might get hurt. Mm. Yeah, this kind of gets dragged out here. Oh, there we go. And they're getting destroyed over there. I want to keep Talon's glow compared to the other stuff. Uh, yeah. Now let's pick up that. Whoops. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Going, even though Spark's not very fun compared to Plasma Blade. Yeah, let's get something else going. App got hit. Let's deal from her. Resumed. Still blessed. Whoops. Oh, wrong job. Now I have to wait for that to fall off completely. We're in hot water. Okay, I'm sorry, bad pun. Is it even a pun? I'm getting like everything except for the crazy one. And we are making many mistakes too. That left was on their last leg. Wait for Invisible to fall off. Computer cannot 
keep up with the crap that is happening. No Sonic Blade? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, this is kind of how the thief life go. Minus some of these things kind of suck. Like, Spark is like, oh, what do do? Oops. I keep uh, <laughs> letting Chaos Burner run out, which is a convenience to reapply. It's a it's a convenience to forget Jack. Mm -hmm. I see that rapid fire. That is a road jet. Let's try to get over there. Things don't have to be this crazy or this intense. I just, uh. Crap. Was not paying attention. Chaos Bringer was ended. And then we'll talk about the build, even though this uh, took a while. <laughs> like, we've been fighting for almost 15 minutes. And we're gonna let the game pick up all this crap, and then we're gonna let the game disassemble all this crap. Okay, uh pardon me. So let's 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 do this. Let's talk about the build. And then we'll we'll start to strip out the components that are or aren't Because you might be trying to do these and things don't quite pan out the way that they do in this video. Um, actually, before we do that, let's just go and fight Tiamat one one time, and uh, just to, just just for reference, like world map boss. So, oops. So, kind of how things are going with the trials. Not 
completely maxed out, but at least break damage, enemy stats, that kind of crap. Uh, so, rough idea of, of how this works once everything is put together. Pardon me. But again, we didn't actually fight uh, Elemental Core. Uh, even Marilith, we might have to switch to using Cloaked Fang and just daggering her to death. Um, just due to Asura's low potency when it comes to uh, <laughs> pure agility. As strange as that is, it's, it, it shouldn't be that way, but it is for us. Uh, we're not blue mages. So, back it up. Back it up. We have the Thief. In this video, we have an endgame thief where, uh, at this point, it, it wouldn't matter if you're using rogue or cut purse. I'm, I, I should have been using rogue so that I get potions to revive my allies, but eh. But what we have here are, we have, looking at our job affinities, we have assassins stacked up for the excess 800% turning into agility. And bonus, if we don't get hit, like all of our, if all three of semi fall off, then we start getting hit and we lose this assassin 400%. It's a break damage buff in a separate bucket. The thief is here just for giggles at this point, although we are benefiting from thief um, 120% and 50% for a little bit more instant ability damage dealt, but we're trying to break the enemy with this build, not not do HP damage. Uh, for convenience, I do have Dragoon 400%. Don't ask me why I have 600%. I just never changed it. Uh, the 400% for increased attack speed, um, and, and that's that's pretty much it. Uh, the Paladin 400% because of how important our gear effects are going to be. I wanted the status ailment resistance to avoid silence, paralysis, and petrification because those take me out uh, for dinner. But we also have max break damage. I'm sorry, break damage dealt when HP is at max. And it's small, but it is contributing just a little bit. We have Tyrant 400% because the original goal was that on my other job, I afflict the status ailment and then I could then critical hit from any direction with my instant abilities and, and take the boss out. Um, and uh, Tyrant 120% and 50% were supposed to help with some of that if I had to do it on the thief. At one point I had Shadow Fang on the thief so that I could poison the boss and make sure that, oh, between my second job, at the time it was Monk using Thunder Lance with Spirit and Status Ailment Accumulation, now it's a Ninja, I could have kept each boss phase accumulated with a Status Ailment. But uh, it has to be an accumulated Status Ailment, not an instant one. Um, I digress. So, that didn't pan out that way. And uh, across my gear, I have improved effect Invisible and Barrage. Those are two core components for this. Uh, in addition to <laughs> stacking up a buttload of agility. So, we have improved effect Barrage to get more hits in, or to, to make Barrage more effective. We have invisible because invisible was a, is a separate break damage bucket compared to all of our gear stuff, and if I can make that stronger and and more multiplicative, great. Agility, that is how we're doing the break damage we do with critical hits, and then we we have instant ability damage dealt and break damage. Both of those impact break damage. So right now, I'm getting forty point five percent instant ability break damage from the damage dealt and then I get another 75%. Also across all of my gear I have Fenrir to squeeze out more agility and for the most part my gear is 
those effects that I have. Very glass cannony. Uh, there's going to be some exceptions here because at one point I thought I might be getting hit. So we have damage taken at max HP uh, on two, at least two pieces of gear to try to get close to 100%. And we also have Lionheart as a, a, a failsafe in case we run out of Utsemi. And uh, that way we don't completely lose our momentum and lose all of our buffs all at the same time during enemy attack deplete buffs trials. I'm sorry, let me let me back that up. Uh, in, in that way, we don't die and we have a chance to maybe like, hey, let me do a Utsemi to protect my Chaos Bringer, to protect all of my buffs, and ultimately protect my life. Um, now, combo abilities. We have Bisect to try to get behind the enemy and start snatching from behind or get behind the enemy and use an instant ability from their butt. We also have Cloaked Fang, which is on our daggers. So that, because specifically why it's on the daggers is because Cloaked Fang is a third link combo ability. You don't get this from Duelist 400% or the Duelist Handbook. Uh, you, you do have to put it on your weapon if you want it on other slots. And so I did. Uh, it lets me try to get behind the enemy. And uh, unfortunately for this build, you might actually kill them instead of getting a chance to like, oh, I'm going to get behind them and use instant abilities. No, they're just dead. So we had Cloak Fanged, just in case. We also had Twin Thrust in case we need to take out a Merolith or just someone else really fast. Uh, very fast, but yeah. We have Invisible because uh, we get targeted less often and because the boost to the break damage it deals from critical hits is in a separate bucket. And that's multiplicative with all of the instant ability damage dealt that we have. So that instant ability damage dealt and break damage, add that all together combine it with the critical break damage dealt, and if I had any other break damage delts, uh, I do, I, I guess just a little bit, and then start multiplying that by whatever Invisible does, and then whatever Chaos Bringer does, that's in its own separate bucket for break damage, and then the Barrage helping out, giving those all extra hits as long as my agility is, is, is a lot higher than my enemy's agility. The lunatic here is just for the attack speed because I like going very fast. Uh, and the chaos bringer is here because I don't feel like switching my gear out to have MP cost steal and trying to figure out other ways to generate MP, which I absolutely could have. Uh, it's just this is the route I chose to go for all the break damage and squeezing that out. Pardon me. Oops. Wrong job. Uh, now, if you wanted more... Break damage, you could have Monk with improved effect focus on the second job, but I went with survivability, and I, I chose Ninja. At this point, Shadow Master would be preferable because you can get some Ninja tools back when you land a status ailment, except that I really wasn't, not on Ninja at least. But on Ninja, uh, some of the important things for the Chaos Bringer setup is, or are, uh, Void Knight 50% and 120% to increase your MP limit boost rate when you Soul Burst. The Breaker 120% and 50% for more Soul Burst MP recovery. And then also the when uh, you have Leviathan Primary Blessing, Summoner 600% increases or doubles the effect of the Soul Burst MP recovery that Leviathan offers as well as... Uh, max MP and uh, we're not using it for soul shielding now so those those three components are big but then just as a convenience we do have cyclic warrior 400% and 250% 400% if we soul burst we extend the duration of chaos bringer just a little bit and then the 250% if we get into a real pickle a real jam all this food talk um, that we start building up max MP. But then also, because we're on Ninja as a failsafe, we can throw shurikens for zero MP and chain cancel, pressing the job change button 
um, during the, the animation of, of throwing a shuriken or using a job action. And thanks to Summoner 120% and 50%, we gain max MP. And also thanks to Gambler 120% and 50%, we gain or recover a random amount of MP based on our luck, our fate. And so that is a way that things, if they go really bad, we, we can just like try to go into a corner, hope that our allies stay alive long enough for us to throw shurikens and chain cancel and jump around in the corner and try to go for another Chaos Bringer. But against bosses, like Death Machine, um, you, you don't have a chance to do that without Invisible protecting you and your allies protecting you. Now, originally, I, I was hoping to have Assassin 400% so that even while I'm on my Ninja, I'm still building up stacks of final moments, but uh, things didn't quite pan out that way, and I just haven't looked through my gear to see why. Uh, we also have Monk, I'm sorry, White Mage, 120% and 50% for buff duration, and even though our buffs are free, I still just don't like recasting them that often. Like, I don't want to recast my buffs every 9 seconds if they can maybe last for 30 seconds. 9 seconds being like a Dragon Trial getting in the way. Also, we have Dragoon 400% for just more speed while we're on the ninja. And uh, sometimes, I uh, during that battle, you saw that my max MP was over 400. So... When I was on Ninja, I did have the haste if I needed to jump up in the air and it would send me one more time or that kind of thing. So that was good. I know I'm forgetting something, but I'm just going to keep going. Um, so across our gear, we had improved effect Chaos Bringer. The second effect we weren't using. So if you really want to optimize this on your Thief, you might have... Uh, let's say you're not using Chaos Bringer. On your Thief, that's when you might have MP cost to steal. Or if you want daggers as a backup, you have dagger, damage dealt. I'm oh, sorry, dagger. I can't think of what I'm trying to say. Damage dealt dagger combo abilities on your Thief. And then you'd have the other buff on your Ninja if you wanted to do it that way. Uh, now, I do have Lightbringer Duration and Soul Burst MP recovery and buff duration across most of my gear. And if I could get Carbuncle for the luck, I tried to. Sometimes things didn't work out. My controller battery just died. What a horrible time to do this because we're so close to the end of this video. Uh, and so the Lightbringer duration so that our Chaos Bringer lasts longer. Even if we're operating off of two bars of MP, that it lasts longer uh, than four seconds. or um, It's been buffed up, but still, lasts longer. And then the buff duration, so I don't have to recast the buffs as often. But then the Soul Burst MP recovery to build more max MP the way that I was doing. More so on bosses than regular enemies. Now, this time I do have status ailment resistance... Or at least I was hoping to on my gear, but I did mess up and completely forget to equip stuff. And so I am vulnerable, and I can be silenced when I'm trying to do stuff on Ninja, and that could end very badly for me. Pardon me. Uh, but just as a safety net, I also have Lionheart. And because it's an endgame build, I have a little Leviath. I, I'm sorry, pardon me. I have a Leviathan badge that I fused over. But if I didn't have that, I would have had Leviathan on one piece of gear somewhere here. Looking at our job tree. Oh gosh. Uh, looking at our job tree, we have agility stacked up. And even though I could have gotten agility from Thief, I decided to go a little bit more reckless. We're going to come back to Category 2 because on this build, Category 3 is where we're at. Now, this instant ability rarely increases. I'm not sure why it's worded that way, but that, that affects um, how many abilities you steal. Like, just the quantity. So, 
I, I don't, even though my steel is free with Chaos Bringer, I don't want to, like, instant ability, steel, instant ability, steel. Sometimes I want to use two or three abilities, back to back to back. So, um, I have this set up, but not super high. Because I thought, well, I'm going to need as much damage dealt and break damage dealt, because it's all going to get multiplied. Uh, and so I, I have that up there. But, uh, and then for the leftover, I had critical break damage dealt, even though agility would probably have been the better move. But at the end, it just, when you have too much stats, oops, sorry, when you have, when your stats are too high, it almost doesn't matter at, at this point. But when I originally tried this build, uh, I had 600 agility and I was like, oh, it's not doing very well. It's, it's it, the agility makes a huge difference in this and having agility from your allies even pushes that further um so what was i saying here oh ninja on the ninja uh to help out with the chaos bringer stuff we have increased mp limit boost rate and the soul burst mp recovery that's going to help our chaos bringer i'm sorry that's going to help our soul bursts recover more max mp and it might look like overkill, except once you have Dragon Trials on, such as the max MP and MP recovery ones, uh, that, that, that does get in the way, and that's where all the extra... Um, that's where all the extra Soul Burst MP recovery and stuff come into play. Uh, so we also have Luck, because we're using Gambler 120% to recover MP on a Chain Cancel. We also have Lightbringer Duration, uh, that was more important than the luck, just so that our Chaos Bringers last longer. And then we had the buff duration, just because I don't feel like casting buffs. And then looking at our other jobs, I have Ash, not completely optimized for this, but he, it, let's, let's go with Jed, because <laughs> Jed is optimized. Ash was an attempt, and so were, was Neon, and then we, we got it right, almost right on Jed and Sophia. So, Ash. Oops. Sorry, Jed. Well, uh, Jed is on Assassin, because Assassins give the most agility out of all the jobs in the game. And Liberator 120... Per, I'm sorry, 600%. Liberator 600% shares 12% of their stats with us as long as they're alive. It doesn't show up on the UI, but Jed roughly would be giving me 120 agility, which is great. But how does he stay alive? He stays alive thanks to Lionheart and potions and love. Uh, so Lionheart, he's invincible when we press the direction pad left and or right, depending on which position he's in. And uh, Or if you're on the keyboard, using the letters R or T to activate that resonance. And for 12 to 60 seconds, depending on how much Lightbringer duration or buff duration trials, even though the buff duration doesn't impact this. Like, the buff duration you add on your gear doesn't increase the duration of resonance. But buff duration dragon trials does negatively impact the duration of this. And I just it's sort of weird. I, I don't fully understand. It, we'll just call it a wording thing that just didn't make it into the game. Anywho, Lightbringer Duration. And then the rest of his crap is just stacking anything that gives agility as high as we can. So, Assassin, 800% onward. And then, Samurai, 800% onward. This could have been Ninja, Duelist, Thief, Gambler. Because they all give a good, uh, as much agility as Samurai does, but... Uh, I, I just didn't because I, I thought, well, I don't feel like changing all this crap around per, per, uh, <laughs> to, to super optimize for every single, every single build. I just don't have enough gear space for that. Across the gear, he has agility, Lightbringer duration, and they're all Fenrir gear unless I just didn't have Fenrir gear that he could wear, in which case Sylph, Shiva, and Carbuncle would have did the job. Uh, 
the strength is there just because this is for another build and the crap at the top like the katana combo ability on assassin uh it's just because jed's not optimized to actually do anything other than be a stat stick um and even that's not fully optimized but yeah this is this is pretty much what it would be and uh i tried with ash ash could be on pugilist or monk or you could have had sophia on dragoon as your second character or third depending on how you look at it but yeah that is oh sorry i haven't even talked about the monsters the monsters yeah the monsters so going into the rift here because this video is getting close to 50 friggin minutes well, that's because the enemy attack... No, 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 no. So, we have the monsters. We have Goblin for the agility. Bonus if you have Duelist and Thief and Marksman up there, because that's more agility. And then, uh, Duelist is, is uh, some little bit of critical break damage dealt. Uh, Wolf for the agility. Bonus if you have Samurai Job up there, because that's more agility if, if you have summarize stacked up and then just a little bit we have break damage dealt we have curl because we're trying to do increased monster quest efficiency uh, bonus if you have tyrant leveled up because then you don't need tyrant on your gear but I monster monster quest efficiency trying to get credit for thief stuff crap it's not even 400 percent yet that's a shame given that that's, that's one of my favorite jobs um we have mrs prickles for the assassin job affinity and ninja job affinity so that's if you have that up it's great and it's going to go up because jed's on assassin and we have ninja as a second job and then we have behemoth here because i don't actually know this time i just didn't swap him out combo ability stat bonus unfortunately i don't think we're actually getting advantage uh taking too much advantage of that but if we ever need to use our daggers for marilith or Crayclaw or something like that then we we, we do have an option uh, damage help to bosses that kind of thing and speaking of of marilith and we're going to regret doing this in the video but just just so that we have a, a rough comparison of how Marilith likes to play. You want to play, huh? Oh, she wants to play. We're gonna do this. Uh, and ideally, I should buff up first. Instead of... Because Marilith does last longer. So, I need to buff up. I don't need to. I am going to. Uh, Utsemi. And see how little she's taking here. So we're gonna see if we can. So things are not going well for us. <laughs> How's your day going? Oh, <laughs> not good. And now we're going to be like, oh, please, please don't, please leave me alone, oh my gosh. Yeah, this is like horrible. Now, no, no, Ash is dead. <laughs> we're dead, we're dead. We're so, we're going to get it. Whoops, wrong job. Not the major build. Oops. Oh, this could have gone so much better. Uh, but now let's hope that we get enough. And this is... Ah! And that's how we do it with Thief. Uh, <laughs> in the middle of all that, I knew things were going to go bad. 
Now, if we had chronostasis, uh, chronostasis would have made short work of her. But we, we don't have chronostasis. And I don't know if I have... I, I don't think I can leave the video with just me dying like that. Can I? Like, that would be a horrible way to end the video. If we just...